Hi there. Let's talk about anchor links on Adobe Spark page. We're really excited about this new feature because it lets you create a web page that can be navigated within itself. That means you can have a table of contents at the top and have those contents take you to different parts of the page. Let's have a look here on this sample page. If I scroll down, I have my contents. I can jump down to section three and I can have a button that jumps back to the table of contents. And I can link to any part of my web page that has an H1 or H2 text. All right, let's make one pretty quick here. The trick for anchor links is to lay out your entire page first. So here's our contents. And we're just going to make three sections here. Let's turn this into a list. Section one, section two, section three. All right, let's make section one a split layout. I'm just gonna give it a text, section one. Now this is extremely important. This text cannot be regular text. It has to be an H1 or an H2. If neither of those are highlighted, you'll have normal text that cannot be anchor linked. So I'm gonna make this an H1. All right, after that, we'll have section two, which will be a glide show. Uh, let's just put a random photo in there. Cat. Ooh, perfect. Okay. This is section three. And again, I'm sorry, two. Broken record here, it has to be H1 or H2, and then section three will be mm, just some text. All right, again, H1 or H2, I can have stuff underneath here, list of stuff. So we've laid out the general outline of our page, our table of contents, the sections, the titles that we will use as anchor links and that's it now we have to publish the page so let's go share publish and share create link the reason we have to create the outline first and then publish it is because anchor links depend on a live website they are urls uh, like going to google.com or going to images.google.com that take you to a part of the page. So if the page doesn't exist yet, then we can't do it. Okay, so now let's see the magic here. Uh, let's make all the buttons really quick. So see when I hover on contents, I get a little chain link there. I'm going to click that. You'll see on the bottom anchor link copied. So let's add a button to each of these that takes me back to the table of contents button. Uh, let's just call it top. Ooh, that's a good name. All right, let's put one in here. And it doesn't have to be a button. In fact, the other one we'll do will just be a link text that says back to contents. And this can be a hyperlink. All right, now let's do each of the sections. So we need section one. Let's go to our website, our live site. Section one, hover, click the link. It's copied now. Highlight the section, click the hyperlink button, which looks the same, and save. Now let's go to section two, hover, chain link, highlight, chain link, Paste, Command or Control V if you don't know, or you can right click. And Section 3, click, highlight, click, paste, save. So now I have to update my page. So share, publish and share, update link. And Adobe does some magic for us, which is very nice of them because building this page from scratch would be a far more complicated task. All right, and I could just reset it, reload it, but let's go ahead and just paste the link. 
And now we will see my website has navigation. Take me to section three. Ooh, take me back to the top. Whoa. Section two, to the top. Section one. <laughs> so this can be an extremely useful tool. I, I hope you find some great use out of it. And if you need any additional help or have questions, be sure to visit us at adobe.arizona.edu. Thanks for watching.